Here are the best graphic settings for Black Ops 6 to boost your FPS while making the game look the best. If you're on console, you'll notice I have more settings available since I'm playing on PC. However, don't worry, most of the core cool graphic settings for consoles are still available in this video. I always play in full screen exclusive mode because it provides the best frame rate compared to windowed or borderless. And of course, make sure you select the correct monitor and graphics card and match your screen's refresh rate. My monitor is 165, so I set mine to 165. I leave the aspect ratio and display gamma on automatic and for brightness I slightly increase it to 55 for better visibility. Remember of course these settings are based on personal preference and your system setup so feel free to experiment to find what works best for you. When it comes to reflex low latency this setting depends on whether your system is GPU or CPU bound. If your graphics card GPU is the bottleneck turn it on. If it's your CPU enable the plus boost option which is what I use. You want to set eco mode and all vsync settings to off and for menu render resolution I leave it at native to keep the menus looking sharp. You can go ahead and disable pause game rendering and focus mode and turn off HDR unless you specifically need it on. Switching over tabs to the quality settings keep your render resolution at the native setting. I turn off dynamic resolution as I find it impacts visual quality and I also prefer to use Fidelity FX Cast for sharpening which I set at 90 for a good balance between clarity and performance. I keep the VRAM scale target at 80% but you can increase it up to 90 if needed. Variable rate shading is enabled as it greatly improves frame rate and I turn off range gen. For details and textures these will depend on your system's capabilities. If you have a powerful PC you can crank everything to max but for most users myself included a balance between visuals and performance is key. I set texture resolution and texture filtering to normal, disable depth of field entirely to avoid any extra unwanted blur. Set nearby level of detail to normal and parallax resolution to low as it has a big impact on frames without adding much visually. I like to keep bullet impacts and persistent effects on as they help me track recoil and bullet placement especially in the firing ranges. For shading I switch between medium and high as there's minimal performance impact. Unfortunately on demand texture streaming is now forced on but I keep mine set to optimized. But if you're having bandwidth issues switch it to minimal. Shadows are really crucial for visibility so I have these set to normal and I also set screen space shadows and ambient occlusion to low. Turn off screen space reflections to make it easier to spot enemies in dark spaces and disable water tessellation reflections as well for a smoother performance. For volumetric effects I set quality to medium and weather grid volumes to normal. Water quality is fine at normal but if you need more frames you can set it to low. Under the view settings I turn off motion reduction and I also set my field of view to 110 as I find it strikes the right balance. Some pros recommend 120 but I personally find it harder to aim at distant enemies at that setting so if you also have that same problem I'd recommend anywhere between 105 and 120 and just pick what works best for you. I set ADS field of view to affected and both weapon and vehicle field of view to wide. Make sure you turn off motion blur and weapon motion blur entirely and finally set first person camera movement to the lowest value 50% and if you want to change how flashbangs affect your screen you can enable inverted flashbang to make your screen go black instead of white but again that is entirely up to you. If you want to be able to hear enemy footsteps clearly click the video on screen now and as always don't forget to like and subscribe.